The Physiotherapy Evidence Database, or PEDRO, from the University of Sydney is another good place to look for EBP research. As always, we begin by accessing it through the library's website. PEDRO indexes randomized trials, systematic reviews, and clinical practice guidelines. It's most relevant to physical and occupational therapy practice. PEDRO looks quite a bit different than most of the other databases you have used. Also, it's an aggregator. This means that it's indexing articles it found in other places. It will provide you with abstracts or links out to articles, but it may not necessarily contain the full text. The two areas we're going to look at in this video are browse and search. First, we'll review how to browse. When we click browse, we go to a page with a list of major categories. They link to the newest clinical guidelines, systematic reviews, and clinical trials for each of these areas. These links are updated monthly. If you like, you can subscribe to the Evidence in Your Inbox feature. Choose which areas you're interested in, and once a month, you'll get an email with updates on the topics you selected. Let's look at sports. I'll click that link, and it will show me the entries within Pedro that have been updated in the past month or so. The exact dates of the most recent and future updates are listed at the bottom of the page. This list shows the titles of the articles and the method or study type. Remember, that's important to know because different types of clinical questions are best answered by certain study designs. For example, most of the articles on this list are therapy questions. Randomized control trials, or RCTs, are considered the best type of evidence to answer therapy questions. In Pedro, RCTs are called clinical trials. This list also displays a score of 0 through 10. Higher scores generally indicate more reliable evidence. Let's click on the first result. It gives you information about the article, the title, author, where it's been published, the type of article it is. There are some explanations of the method they used as well. This one tells us that the study was a clinical trial. Again, Pedro doesn't necessarily have the full text available in a database, but it lists links where the article may be available. PubMed Central is a free full text archive, so that's a good place to start. We can follow that link to PubMed Central. From here, we choose the PDF option over to the right, and we can view the full text of this article. Another good option is to follow the DOI link from the initial search record. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier. This unique identifier assigned to the article provides a permanent web address so the article can be easily located. Remember to include the DOI when you cite an article in AMA style. The DOI link will usually take us to the article publisher's website. All of these look a little bit different, so you may have to look around a little bit to figure out how to view the full text. Always make sure you are accessing these databases through the library website. This will ensure you do not hit any paywalls and have access to the full text if it's part of our subscriptions. Now let's see how to do a more specific search. We're going to go up to the top of the page and choose New Search Advanced. The Advanced Search page gives us a lot of options in these drop-down menus. You can narrow your results to look for specific kinds of therapy, problems, body parts, subdisciplines, topics, or methods. Let's try a quick search here. I'm going to type acupressure in the abstract and title field. This is a therapy, so I really want to find RCTs to see if it's effective. To limit my results to RCTs, I'm going to choose clinical trial as the method. Remember, that's what RCTs are called in this database. Then I hit start search. This brought back 262 results. That's a lot of articles to go through, so now I want to narrow my results a little bit more. I'm going to go up to the top of the page and select continue searching. That's going to keep the filters I already had, but I can add more here. I'm going to select pain as the problem and head or neck as the body part. Let's see if there are any clinical trials that studied acupressure to reduce head or neck pain. Now I only have 10 results. Like PubMed, Pedro is very well indexed. It's also very focused and clears out a lot of the noise and unrelated articles you have to sift through in databases like PubMed, CINAHL, and ProQuest. 
Some things may slip through your search, but overall, using these search parameters is a great way to narrow the kind of research you'll find. Just remember, the more filters you apply, the narrower your results are going to be. If you have too few results, you can always go back to continue searching and make changes to your filters. Searching is a process, so it's perfectly fine to keep making changes to your search strategy. This video covered a lot of information quickly. If you have any questions, please ask us. You can chat with a librarian 24-7, email us, or schedule an appointment to meet with a librarian in person or virtually to help with your research needs. Until next time, happy searching!